Here we are, just exploding at somewhere around 20,000 feet just beyond the Ice Palace from the St. Paul Winter Carnival. The heat of Paquita de Rivera, and he's uh, converting everything. The banks of the Mississippi are now becoming uh, the shores of Rio and uh, the Atlantic lapping up on Ipanema Beach. And uh, we'll hear more about that in a moment. But Paquito represents not only Cuba, but also all of the South American tradition. Let's uh, catch up with him in a moment. That's a kind of wild sound, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, Paquito, tell me, you could have be at Ronnie Scott's playing with Dizzy Gillespie when I hear that. It, it sounds like a session at Ronnie's in London. Sounds like that, yeah. I, I love the city. I would I love to go there uh, soon. <laughs> well, you know, you have a mission to perform here, and that is to warm us up. Well... Here in this city, the only thing cold is the, is the weather, but, but people, is cold. people here is warm and nice, man. Well, that's very pleasant of you to say that. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Carlos Roviti has the same opinion. Everybody has the same opinion here on the management of this place. And, uh, you know, it's so nice to be here. Every, everybody, every single person is so nice, so warm here. I don't know how, uh, why it's so cold here. The weather, well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, uh, you can uh, sort of jab us on that. Uh-huh. Paquita de Rivera, uh, your uh, artistry as an alto saxophonist I want to talk about in a moment, but I played an overture to this uh, conversation, the composition Just Kidding, which uh, ties salt peanuts. And one of our former residents of St. Paul, Minnesota, Charlie Schultz, who created the figure of peanuts. Now, is there some special significance in Just Kidding, that composition that opens your new LP called Explosion? Well, it's, this is the same. It's the same composer who wrote the title card for my my uh, my album. Uh, Why not? It's Michel Camilo. And the Why not? What was a Grammy Award winner in the Voices of Manhattan Transfer. And then now this is uh, just kidding. I I will tell you what happened. This album I, I feel it like as a continuation of the album Why not. It's the second part of the album, Why Not? I use in, in the other album, Why Not? Uh, I, I use uh, two Stillmans playing the harmonica. In this case, I use uh, Howard Levy. Who is traveling with you right now. Who's traveling with me. I am so happy because he's one of the greatest musicians I ever had the, the chance to play with. And I am very looking with piano players, you know. I, 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 most of the time I have good piano players, and uh, Howard is one of the best. Well, Paquito, I, I want to ask you this. If there's no tie between Salt Peanuts, Dizzy Gillespie, and the memories of Charlie Parker, for you, who, perf- who personifies the alto saxophone? You're an alto saxophonist. In your memory and mind, who were you listening to a long time ago? Oh, so many alto players, so many, so many good players. It, the alto saxophone is a dangerous instrument. It is a dangerous instrument, you I say. I think so. You know why? Because if you... Uh, Talk, talking actually, you know, you know, in, in this moment now, you can find many, many good tenor players. You, you can, you can, uh, you can say, for example, uh, Dexter Gordon, Johnny Griffin. You can say uh, Michael Brecker. You can tell uh, Dick Oates. Uh, you know, so ma- many cool tenor players, and you can, and all, all since, since uh, the beginning of jazz music, you can. Uh, Mention very, very few bright alto players. You know, I mean, uh, bright, uh, brilliant alto players. You know, I don't want to talk about Charlie Parker because that's not an alto player. That's a monster. <laughs> that's, that's a monster. Yeah, that's a monster. That, that's different. But, you know, alto players is always are the same. It's, it's a very, very uh, dangerous instrument, you know. People like Paul Desmond or Lee Konitz or um, Eric Dolphy. You certainly mentioned some of the real artisan craftsman. Oh, yes. I am talking about that. When I talk about, uh, you know, that kind of music, Jackie McLean, you know, Lee Connitz. It's very, very few alto players around. 
he like very few clarinet players. He, even even less than than, than uh, alto players. Many, many people ask me why you you don't play the soprano or the flute anymore. I say well because it's a lot of flute players. And it's a lot of so soprano players, but it's very few clarinet players. Still, the greatest is Benny. Is is still around. And you speak of Benny Goodman. Oh yes, Benny. Yeah, <laughs> Benny Goodman is the clarinet. And people like Ari, Ari is not playing anymore, but his sound is around in the air, you know. Ari show. And uh, Eddie Daniels and Bolly DeFranco. Oh, you certainly have covered the territory. Yeah, that, that's, that's a small territory, yeah. The but clarinet and all that. And then bo both instruments I play is, is kind of dangerous, you know, but I, I, can, I, I need that kind of uh, how you call it, challenge. And inspiration. And inspiration to, to, to live, you know. And sweat. And then, uh, well, uh, how I live is, is, is a challenge, too, you know. And, and Claudio Roditi is a challenge, too, you know, to have those, well, I can't say that, 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 word, in the, that word in the radio, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll keep it. kind of people in my band is kind of, uh, it's a problem because I have to play double. With people like uh, Claudio <laughs> Rodito and uh, the, the whole group that you're traveling with. Yeah, but especially Claudio and, and, uh, and Howard Levy. They are very inspiring, but you know, sometimes they play too much, man, and they, they made me they made me play double. My God. But well, I, I need that kind of challenge to live, you know. It's it's an inspiration and I, I am very glad to have them in my band. I heard you last night in a most unusual setting where you had a homecoming with Manfredo Fest. Oh Manfredo. Manfredo is uh, is something very special too. I, I wanted to just ask you, as I listened to the program unfold last night alive and in person, in contrast to recording I sense there are messages in your music. What are those messages, Paquito? Happiness. Happiness and, and deepness and all that, you know. Go to the... Uh, I will explain you to, uh, to me what happened. In many, uh, even good American musicians, they are, many of them, they are very uh, superficial. When they want to know something about... South American music or Cuban music or Brazilian or whatever, they think they, they sell a lot of of, uh, of American musicians. They're famous because they have been playing Brazilian music. They think they have been playing Brazilian music. They didn't play that at all. You have to go deep into that music. When I wanted to 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 learn how to play American music, I didn't play the Chick Corea um, uh, albums only. You know, I am a fan of Chick Corea. But if if you want to learn about the music, you have to go down there to do you know to uh, deep. You have to go deep to see Jerry Roll Morton. You have to listen to Benny Goodman. You have to listen to to uh, to Sidney Bechet. You have to listen to to uh, to Count Basie and all that. And then you can listen to uh, to Chico Rea and all that. If you want to to uh, to learn about about South American music, you you don't have to go to I don't know to to uh, uh, th th those uh, uh, modern bossa nova and all that. You have to go to Chorinos. You have to learn about the uh, the roots of that music. And that's why I admire so much Howard Levy, who is uh, he's American, and he's learning about all the South American music. And the message of my music is that to learn about the roots of every uh, single uh, source of music, you know. Paquita de Rivera, thank you so much for taking time off stage at Gabriel's, and I know you're due on stand. It's a pleasure to talk with you. I wish you well. Okay, for, for me it's a pleasure to be here, and, and God bless your city and your area. You, you are very nice to me, and thank you for your warm, warm uh, feelings and all that. You keep singing. God bless you, and God bless America.